identify the following test. They have given you an image and the options are CART test, Froman's test, Atkins test, hyper abduction test. All these options, they are the test useful for evaluating the ulnar nerve weakness. Okay. So these features of ulnar nerve weakness, mostly they come under the first thoracic nerve. They mainly manifest as paresthesia, right? Paresthesia in C8 and T1, okay? C8 and T1. So we have around seven tests. One is CART test, Froman's test, AdSense test, Halstead test, military attitude test, Allen's test and elevated arm stress reduction test. Okay. Now, before coming to the uh, one, one, one by one, we will learn the test. Okay. From first the card test. Okay. You will be, the patient will be asked to hold a thin paper or a card in between the fingers. Okay. In case of this ulnar nerve paralysis, your interossi muscles. Okay. There is something called interossi muscles will get parastar weakness, okay. Patient will not be able to hold a card tightly, right. This is known as card test. Then what is this Froman's test? Froman test, patient is asked to hold a book, okay. Hold a book between the finger and the thumb, okay. In case of ulnar, if there is an ulnar, ulnar nerve paralysis, okay. Adductor pollicis, okay. Adductor pollicis. Adductor pollicis is paral paralyzed, okay. So, what will this cause? This will cause flexion at interphalangeal joint, okay. Interphalangeal joint of the thumb, okay. This is mainly because the flexor pollicis is there, no, which is supplied by the median nerve is paralyzed, right. Then this is AdSense test. What they do in the AdSense test? They will feel the radial pulse. Okay. As you should ask the patient to take a deep breath. Okay. You should ask the patient to take a deep breath and a deep inspiration and then turn the neck to the same side. Okay. Same side, ipsilateral side and the pulse may disappear or not or it may become very feeble. Okay. This if it becomes feeble or it disappears, it indicates the compression of the subclavian artery okay subclavian artery so you have to remember only the key key terms and fourth one is your halstead test in this halstead test what they do is the radial pulse becomes very weak okay due to i'll tell you two reasons one is your angulation angulation of your axillary vessels okay one is your ang angulation of your axillary vessels and the next one, next one is because of the angulation, compression, okay, compression between the pectoralis minor and its attachment to the coracoid process. This is known as Hal's test. We will be learning about the two other tests. One is your modified Allen's test, okay, very, very important. In this, you instruct the patient to, patient to clench his finger, his fist, okay. And then you upload both arteries, which arteries, ulnar artery and your radial artery, okay. Then you have to allow the patient to unclench his fist again. Then release the ulnar artery. If the color returns to the hand within 10 seconds, this include, this indicates adequate circulation or there is no adequate circulation right this is only time factor okay if the color returns within 10 seconds it, it means they have the adequate circulation and one more thing is your east elevated arm stress test okay what you do in this procedure this is called as modified rules okay modified rules test okay in this modified rules what you do is uh, with the both the arms so you have to uh, tell the patient to keep both the arms at 90 degree and 
abduction and external rotation position abduction and external rotation okay rotation position patient is asked to make a fist and then you have to repeat the test for 5 minutes to repeat the test for 5 minutes okay so what will be the interpretation okay in the normal side patient will continue to do the maneuver okay in case of pos thoracic outlet syndrome patient will get pain and paresthesia with a difficulty in continuing this rose test okay that we have learned three or two other tests one is your modified allen test and one is your east test now coming back to the question see a uh, patient is asked to hold a book right in case of ulnar nerve paralysis i told you two important things you have to remember one is your adductor pollicis is paralyzed adductor pollicis okay it is paralyzed there is a flexion at the distal interpharyngeal joint huh? and then this is because your flexor pollicis right your flexor pollicis supplied by median nerve contracts okay so the answer for this question is fromens test okay i hope you got the uh, answer